Hello everyone and welcome to Westeros Craft Talks. I am your host Kobe and today we'll be having a look at how span rows of parchments. The majority of people wanted to see parchments. It was I think above 60%. So Penrose is located in the northern stormlands off of Shipbreakers Bay and a few notable locations on their lands are uh, the Old Mott, it's an old Mott and Bailey uh, that overlooks the northern forests of uh, the lands of House Penrose, uh, it has a hamlet and, and some pastures and uh, an old knight uh, keeps a garrison there. Another notable area is the Sceptre of Elena, uh, and we will talk about that more while we are walking through the lands. And finally we have the town and the castle of parchments, uh, which is located uh, near the mouth of a river. And now let's, let's get to the walk. We are starting off here in, in a ruined old fast. It still has some stuff in it, but it is kind of ruined for the main part. Um, we are near the sap tree. You can see it over there through the window. There's also a hamlet nearby. We will go there in a minute. Uh, but for now, I'll talk a bit more about the sap tree. So it's named after Elena Targaryen. Uh, who married, uh, I think it was Ronald Penrose, it was one of the Lords of Penrose and it was it was over a hundred years ago I think, so it, it must be quite old, the sap tree. Uh, but it's named after her because uh, she helped uh, fund to build it and and it's had a lot of uh, prominent um, Lords and uh, or members of House Penrose are buried on that island with the sap tree. So here we have the hamlet, uh, it's, it's a fishing hamlet I think. We'll have a look in, in the house over here. Uh, oh, it, it's not a house I think, it's like a ship right or, or a boat right. It makes boats, not ships. I don't think it, it would be called a ship right. Because it's only small boats. So I think this is this is the main part of the hamlet where most houses are. Got a little veggie patch, a little little ditch around the house as well. I suppose to drain the water since it's still the the stormlands it rains a lot here. Uh, oh, it's like a little little middle square with a tree and the houses are built around it. And I think this is the main house. The no, what would like the leader of this hamlet, the most wealthy person of this hamlet, I think it lives in that one. Uh, I think that's about it for this hamlet. I mean, you've got a windmill on the hill there as well. Uh, but we'll follow this this path through the forest, and it will lead us to the main the main town and the castle. We have arrived in the main town, we've got some vegetable fields here, some silos as well for the grain, and, and a sapt right at the entrance of the village, or town. 
don't know what we, what you would call this one. Um, this is a storage area. You've got a cart here. It's quite a big one, quite a big storage area. Um, we've got the ditches again for the rainwater, and a little bakery here. It's got his little windows open to sell the sell the bread he makes. We'll have a look in this this normal house. This is what a normal house in the in the village looks like. Not 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 too high, um, class. Quite more to lower sides. Got some stables here, and and across from the stables we've got a tavern. So we'll have a look inside. Yeah, so this is where the where the people go to drink drink their beer, drink their alcohol. And it's not an inn, so on top you've only got one bedroom for the owners. This one is just for drinking, not for sleeping. And we'll we'll go through the village. It's not too big. So we'll just head to the castle now. So earlier I mentioned the ties with House Targaryen that in history, um, a lord of, of House Penrose has married a Targaryen princess, but it's not the only ties they had. Um, also Ares I, the Targaryen king, um, his bride was, was a lady of House Penrose as well. And during the Blackfyre Rebellion, uh, House Penrose also stayed loyal to House Targaryen. So we've entered the castle and here are the stables for the horses, usually found near the entrance. Uh, this castle has a lot of different uh, passageways, a lot of narrow, narrow ways you have to go through before you get to the main lord's area. Uh, it's a good defense. This is the main dining hall, and the reason that's so empty is because uh, House House Penrose is loyal to Randy Baratheon, so they've gone to Storm's End to serve him. And Courtney Penrose, who is the son of the current Lord Penrose, is in Storm's End as well, and he's serving as the Castellan, so it's a pretty high up title. Here are the kennels, so where they keep the dogs. A lot of meat for the dogs, and now we'll move on to the inner inner side of the keep. It's where the more important areas are. This over here leads to the water side, uh, but there's a gate uh, which we can actually open. Um, not all people know this, but we have we have the plugin on the server that allows us to make gates that that can open and close. So we'll open this here. Now we can we can have a look at the water side, and this is where they unload um, cargo from the ships and put them in in the castle. We can have a little peek in this room over here. I think those yeah those are the kitchens. So we'll walk down here and then we can we can look out onto the sea. So over there is the Shipbreakers Bay and further is the Narrow Sea. So I've oh, got a little watchtower over there as well on that little peninsula on the other side of the of the river. But we'll head back in the castle now. Leave the gate open. So here is the inner courtyard. Uh, over, over here we have the Lord's Tower. We'll go there in a minute. And here in this little house is the washing, this a washing house, where they do all the laundry. And next to here is where they dry it all. Here is storage, but we want to go inside the, the keep, inside the tower, the Lord's Tower I should say. Here we have the lounge, you can sit and, and enjoy the fire. Uh, so this must be a servant stairwell, but we want to go on the on the big stairwell. This one over here. So here on this floor, we've got some bedrooms, and over here, I think this is for the barracks or part of the barracks, because it leads down to the the wall. And it started raining. Yeah, it does that in the storm lands. They're quite used to it here, so 
yeah we'll have to get used to it as well um as we explore this this keep further so we'll go up and i think is this it's not the lord's area yet is it no it's another another big bedroom but not the lord's one yet so we'll go up and here we have the solar lord's working space and can I have a look out of the windows it's got a little fireplace as well servant stairs again and up here must be the the actual room bedroom of the lords now the lord is really old and not sure how uh, he might die soon no, he's, he's really old and ill um i think got the, the father there to pray over him okay yeah, that was all of the lord's tower so we'll head back down we'll take the the servant stairs this time let's see we can we can go all the way down and it should lead us to the storage underneath the tower And yeah, here we are, storage. All the storage, all the things they need to survive. And here's the outside, okay. And we'll go uh, to these buildings here. Okay, have a look inside here. Up the narrow steps. I'm not sure what this building is, but we'll have a look. You can see some armor sets. And, uh, oh, quite a big room here. Not sure whose this is, whose room this is. Uh, oh, yeah, it has a harp. It must be a musical, musical person. That, that's about it. I think this whole area is just for that one person. Must be important. I've got a little garden here. Have a look, have a look around here. Walk, have a little walk through the garden. Got a covered area as well in case it rains like now. Uh, but now it's, it's time to go to the the master tower. I know where it is. It's right here. But we'll go into his storage area where he keeps all his herbs and all all the master stuff. Got quite a lot, quite a big storage area for a master. Uh, it's looking nice though. So we will go up and then it will lead us to his quarters. I think here this is a, the library. A big library as well. Oh, getting, getting a bit turned around in here. Uh, we need to find the stairs here, okay. And here is the, the bedroom, the master's bedroom. Looks like looks like he's brewing something over here. Not sure what. And oh, this is his working area. Okay. So the the library downstairs must be more of a public one, and this is more of a private area for the master. And if this is the top, we can expect the rookery. Yeah, here we go. A lot of meat. I really like this rookery. I like how it's like all turned around. You can look in all directions on top of the tower. Got nice views from here. See the river. We'll look at onto the town over there. Yeah, so thanks for watching and you can vote for the next episode on the top right corner. There should be an I button. You can press that. And I'll now go over the options for the next episode.
So the new option is Blackhaven. It's a house in the Stormlands and the seat of House Dondarrion, which most people will know um, about from Beric Dondarrion, who appeared in the books and the show. The second option is Stone Door, and it's one of the abandoned wall castles of the Night's Watch. And the last option is House Drox. It's a noble house from the Westerlands and is situated around the bay.